Hello, and welcome back to another week of Maroon Buzz Weekly. I'm Raquel Camarena. Throughout March, Muslims will observe Ramadan. One of our award-winning student athletes, Yahya Rastu, is here to talk to us, to us about Ramadan Mubarak. Yahya is a long-distance runner, and he is president of the EHS Muslim Student Association. We'll be back in 60 seconds to talk with Yahya after this message about Fresh Start. Fresh Start. Did you say Fresh Start? I know you can get a Fresh Start. Fresh Start got me. I used to struggle a lot in class, but now, uh, you know, I have my grades up and I got a lot of colleges emailing me, so it did me really good. I got my first start when I was struggling in Spanish class, but after visiting some teachers in Spanish, it helped it improve my grades. I got my first start from my teacher that helped me get my grades up. Hi, I'm Mr. Leone. I tutor in the Fresh Start program because I love helping students reach their full potential. Hi, I'm Mr. Superzinski. And I love tutoring in a Fresh Start program because students get a second chance. Hi, I'm Mrs. Fisher, and I like working with students that have been out of school for a while so I can catch them up on their missing assignments. Let's get back to our students. Fresh Start! Fresh Start! Fresh Start! Join Fresh Start today! Fresh Start! Yasha, welcome to our Maroon Buzz Weekly. We're excited to learn about Ramadan, specifically Ramadan Mubarak. What are Ramadan, Ramadan Mubarak, and Eid Mubarak? Thank you for having me. Um, so Ramadan is, a month, is the ninth month of the Islamic lunar calendar, and it's a month of fasting, a month of worship, and a month that you spend time with your community members. Ramadan Mubarak in particular is a greeting that you say at the beginning of the month to cel help celebrate with other people. Um, in contrast, Eid Mubarak is what you say at the end of the month when you celebrate a festival where, um, that celebrates the stop of the fast. And that's when you spend time with your community the whole day, you eat and you give gifts and all of that. Fasting serves many purposes. In the month of Ramadan, why is fasting important? Fasting is important because it serves as a way to practice self-control. Um, Muslims do it because um, God told us to and it's our, it's our way of showing obedience to Him and respect to His commands. Um, fasting is also important because it um, brings together the community in a, um, and throughout the day, um, they go through the similar go through similar um, troubles and all of that, and it also helps us um, to remind ourselves of what it's like for people who maybe do not have the same um, resources as us and often go hungry throughout the day. Can you talk about the five pillars of Islamic faith associated with fasting? So fasting is considered one of the five pillars of Islam. Um, it's along with um, prayer. It goes along with prayer, giving charity. Um, making a pilgrimage to Hajj, and um, a few others. And so with these pillars together, they contribute um, the main tenets of Islam, and these are all practices that Muslims um, are, believe very strongly in. And these are things that they do throughout the year or actions throughout their life that make them um, proud of their faith and allow them to best um, fulfill their responsibility to God. And how long is fasting? So... The month of Ramadan itself is 29 to 30 days, depending on the lunar calendar, because it's based on the sighting of the moon. And every day, fasting starts um, at sunrise, um, a little bit before sunrise, and then um, it goes throughout the whole day, um, where you cannot eat or drink, and then you can break your fast um, a little after sunset. And so, um, because of this, um, most Muslims, they wake up early in the morning to eat a meal, so that way they have some sort of nutrition throughout the day. And then um, after sunset, they eat a meal called if. Um, so the meal in the morning is called suhoor, and the meal in the evening is called iftar. And together, um, these are both um, events that people usually eat with their family. And um, yeah. Um, along with fasting, it also includes the preservance of high moral values. Tell us about that. Yeah. So um, we believe that fasting is not just refraining from food and drink. Um, fasting is also. Um, while you're in that state of fasting, um, you should uh, refrain from all sorts of other sins. Um, you should not. You should refrain from lying, gossiping, backbiting, cheating, um, and be careful that you're not doing anything wrong with like your eyes, your ears, what you're listening to, what you're seeing, um, all these types of things. So that way, you are in a state of purity and you're in a state of um, just um, abstaining from all sorts of things that displease God. Along with fasting or your daily prayer, prayers, when do you say your prayers during the day? So prayers are something that we say every day, even outside of Ramadan. 
And so there's five daily prayers. There's one in the morning, um, right after, like it would be like right after we eat Sahur, um, so before dawn. And then there's a second prayer that we say um, at noon, and then um, another prayer in the afternoon. And then after that, there's going to be one prayer in the evening, and then one prayer at night. So five total. Um, so depend, like there's rules on like how you can like combine them, but sometimes, especially during the winter, um, we have to say our prayers here at school because um, the sun rises, the sun sets before we get back home, and so we need to make sure we get to get our prayers done on time. There's a special festival on May third. Will you tell us about that? Yeah. So after Ramadan is over, um, there's a, a celebration known as Eid, which marks the end of Ramadan. And so this is the day that we celebrate because it's the end of a month of fasting. And we believe that it's a day that's blessed because you spent the whole day uh, or a whole month um, practicing um, very um, high, like you mentioned, um, making sure that you maintain moral, high moral standards. And so you celebrate this by eating and um, um, having like sweets and just like celebrating with your community and celebrating with your family. Before we let you go, tell us about your association as a president at EHS Muslim Student Association. Yeah, so we, it's a small club. We uh, only have around 10 or so members, but it's a place for Muslims at Odin High School to come together um, to just like talk about their faith, um, just discuss how to improve um, their uh, time here at Elgin High School in um, like ways that make them feel more comfortable, um, ways that or things that um, the school can do to help um, facilitate their needs. Like for example, we got a prayer room recently um, in, located in the building for students to go to and pray. And so it's just a it's just a place for um, Muslims at our school to feel um, welcome and to feel like they're part of a community. Yeah, okay, thank you so much for sharing your culture with us. We learned so much. Have a fantastic month. Contact Ms. Rahman, teacher in the Department of English Language Learner, Mathematics, and Social Studies for more information about Ramadan. Or stop Yahya in the hallways. He has a ton of information. Thank you. The EHS Varsity Rocket League team won a big game in the high school esports league regular spring season after defeating Mosquito High School. Of the 700 schools, the EHS team ranked in the 28th in the nation and is guaranteed a spot in the playoff. A huge Maroon shout out to senior Kurt Weininger, sophomore Lance Beltran, and freshman Giovanni Amaya. Hey, my name is John V, and if you like our YouTube channel, be sure to like and subscribe down below. Well, that's it for this week. Thank you so much for tuning in and make sure to come back next time.